Well, I want to work with you today on the Huff Gravity model that's used to estimate potential sales for a store site. Over time, the Huff Gravity model has proven to be pretty accurate, and it's based on two things. First is square footage. People like shopping at larger stores. They have more merchandise, both variety and assortment, and travel time to a store. People don't want to drive that far. Let's first take a look at the example that's in your textbook. There are two neighborhoods. We have Rock Creek neighborhood and we have Okamak neighborhood. So the decision is what percentage of the population are likely to shop at the new store that's five minutes away versus if it's 15 minutes away. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So in our first question we're going to ask what is the likelihood that someone living in Rock Creek would shop at the new store instead of the existing store. So we're going to do this side. So are they willing to drive five minutes? Are they willing to drive 10 minutes? This is our equation and it's based against the new store and we get our information from the square footage and the distance and we evaluate it against all items that are included. And in this case there's two stores so we take both of the stores information and we get our result. Approximately 89% will shop at the new store. Let's see how many are willing to shop or drive the extra length of time within this segment in order to get to the new store. Or would they be willing to give up square footage and variety to just drive five minutes? So we're measuring against this time the 15 minute drive. We still have all of our coordinates. We still have all of our items to include and our result is approximately 18 percent will be willing to make that drive. So even though the store is double the size, people just aren't willing to make that commute. The item I gave you as homework initially, I saw people, at least one person, had pulled it up on the web and when I did it I realized it was less than a minute search to find it. And this is something I really want you to know. So I'm going to show you how to solve that here and then I'm going to give you a different assignment. So in this case we have three stores. We have store A, store B, and store C. We're going to be using store A as our example or as our subject store. So that's the number that goes at the top. And then we divide it using all of the numbers that are included in the decision. And then we get our answer. So approximately 70% would be willing to shop at the new store. Let's take a look at another example. Walmart in Twin Falls has approximately 179,000 square feet. Fred Meyer 86, Albertsons 57,000. So go ahead and stop this video, figure the amounts, and then go on. So with Walmart, you end up with 19%, even though it's significantly larger and has more options. Fred Meyer, 14%, and Albertsons, because it's three minutes away, is 67%, even though it's the smallest of the stores. So your homework assignment is attached and it uses the same form, the same idea, and I look forward to seeing your results.